guys, so I'm back with part two of my birthday haul. Um, I didn't mean to make this a two-part video, but I can't shut up. So we are going to talk about Makeup Geek stuff. Um, I only had a few Makeup Geek eyeshadows, and I really liked them, and I kind of wanted to jump on the train again. So some of the ones that I got, and I won't really go in too much depth about these, um, I'm just assuming that you guys have seen these a million times, but I could be wrong. Um, this one is Cocoa Bear. I love this. Maybe I will do a little bit of swatches on these, just light swatches. Cocoa Bear right there, super pretty. The next one I got was Bada Bing. This is like a deep brown, warm brown with some gold sparkle in it. Um, super pretty, not overly metallic, so you can still use it to like deepen up your outer V and it still is very dark. That one is there. And I'm not swatching these very heavily. The next one is a Preppy. This color looks like puke, but it is so <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. That is Preppy there. The next one is Creme Brulee. I love this as a transition color on me. I'm more of like a medium skin tone. So peaches and cream, what's, so peach smoothie is I think the one. Um, doesn't show up that much on me. So when I'm doing like a deeper smoky eye, I grab Creme Brulee over peach smoothie. Does that make sense? Okay, the next one I got was Bleach Blonde. And I love this one. It's sort of like a muted, gold shimmer it's right there and chickadee this is sort of like a muted orange and this is really really beautiful for warming up your crease area adding some orange I got lemon drop which is a really really pretty yellow shimmer it's super bright I got this one because I saw on Instagram an eye look with like red brick and brown script and then this like in the center like not this actual eyeshadow but a bright kind of yellow and I sort of wanted to recreate that so yeah that is this color right here super pretty and very different from anything that I have in my collection okay so those are the only eyeshadows so I didn't get very many but I just wasn't in the mood to buy a ton of new eyeshadows I obviously have way too many palettes and I just got the Mega Pro thing so I just wasn't into it but I did get a couple of pigments from the Makeup Geek website I got the Sugar Pill Lumi pigment <laughs> I can't talk this one is so pretty and so unique it's like mermaids in a jar it's so pretty do you see it there like I don't know this is just gorgeous and I needed it for like random things I just needed it in my life there would be random moments where I'd be like "Ugh, I wish I had that Lumi pigment you know what I mean so I got it got it for myself and then the next one I got was the Makeup Geek pigment I love the Insomnia pigment and I really wanted Utopia so I got it it's just sort of like a dark gold sort of I don't know it's just really pretty it's very sparkly and glittery and I'm trying to get it out. The packaging is kind of interesting on these and I kind of like it. So this is that pigment there. And I'm really far away from the camera. So you guys aren't going to be able to see it super well. Um, but, oh, I dumped some out. Yeah. So this is what the packaging looks like. So you can just take your finger and like dump a little out on there or get a little brush in there. It's really, really nice and it makes it a lot less messy. I thought this was really smart. Okay, a couple things from Lime Crime. I got the Lunar Sea Liquid Eyeliner. This is just the white one. And there were just a couple moments, like I said before, where I was just like, ugh, I wish I had a white liquid eyeliner. Um, so yeah, I got this, and I haven't even swatched it myself yet. Ooh, that's really pretty. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like playing around. <gasps> Focus, Megan. All right, so this is that liner right here. Um, and I also got a couple of the Velveteens. I got Salem and Black Velvet. I haven't rocked a black lip since I was probably in fifth grade, which was the 90s. Imagine that. So I kind of want to bring it back. 
kind of want to bring it back. So I got that in Salem. You guys have seen me wear this before. I have some Instagram pictures of it and I love it. It's just like a brown matte color. These velveteens are so, so awesome. They're so long wearing and so pigmented and so easy to apply. And they are so like no moss, no, no fuss. You don't have to watch it throughout the day. You know what I mean? You put it on and it's going to stay there. And so yeah, these are those. They aren't matte just yet. They haven't set. Just like that Kat Von D lipstick that I was talking about in my last, was that my last video or was that this video now? I can't remember. But anyways, see how that one looks deeper and it's more matte? That will happen to these as well. I got a couple things from House of Lashes. I got the Iconic style lashes, which are so beautiful and I keep seeing pictures of these and I just needed them so badly. So I got these and let me zoom you in. This is something that I'll actually zoom you in on. Do you guys see how cool those are? They're so unique and spiky without being like clownish spiky. And then I got the House of Lashes glue, which I really like. I'd heard good things that it dries quicker, it's more sticky. Um, and I do really like it. I would say it's pretty comparable to the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. The problem I have with the Revlon one is you cannot get that off your eyes. You, you will have eyelash glue stuck to your eyes forever. I think they do sell a remover, so, but I'm too lazy. And then I also ordered a bunch of lashes from Coco Lashes. I got them from a store I heard about through Instagram. I think it's called Lady Moss Beauty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And I'll link it down below for you guys to check these out because they're so awesome. These aren't mink lashes or anything. They're just sort of synthetic lashes. I've worn these a few times, so they're kind of like janky in their box. But these are the style Misha. These are so, so pretty. Um, if you want to see what they look like on, I will link my Instagram down below. Let me zoom you in on all of these. Okay, so these are Misha. These are Soho. These are in the style number 207. And these are in the style called Goddess. And if you guys are really super smart, which I wasn't, you will realize that these are the exact same as the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes, which are more expensive. I'm gonna show you guys them side by side. Okay, so these are the two House of Lashes Iconic are on the top, and the Goddess Lashes from Coco Lashes are in the bottom. Um, and I don't have the film on this package, so they might look a little different. I'm trying to do it so there's no glare on the bottom package, but how cool is that? And I'm super happy with how comfortable these lashes are as well, and they're very lightweight. So I definitely recommend Coco Lashes, very much so. And from them I also got some of these lash cases. You guys have probably seen these other places, but you can fit three pairs of eyelashes in them so you can reuse them. This just makes it easier than putting them back in the cardboard packaging and then digging through your drawer and trying to figure out which ones you've worn already. Um, I don't know if everyone has that problem, but I do. So I got a couple of those. I got a lot of lashes. Okay, next I ordered four pairs of eyelashes from Lena Lashes. She was having a sale, buy two pairs of mink lashes, get two free. I'm not sure if that's still going on. Um, so definitely check out her Instagram page, which I'll link, link down below so you can find out when this video goes up. Um, the first pair I got was called Tina, and I've already worn all of these, and I love them. So I'm just going to explain why they look the way they look in their packaging right now. Um, this is the box they come in. Looks like this. Actually super cute. And I'm going to zoom in. These ones are more sort of light um, and fluttery and super pretty. I had to trim them to fit my eye and I always keep the trimmings from the ends because I like to sometimes stack those in certain areas for more, more drama or use them on my lower lash line. So just a tip if you do need to trim your lashes. Um, these are pretty expensive. I can't remember the exact price point. So definitely save those. So that's why there's like weird extra hairs sitting there. 
Oop, am I out of focus? I don't know. And these are in the style Naomi. These are what I'm wearing right now if you were curious. And these are so cool. I like how there's like alternating lengths. They're very doll-like without being clownish and cartoonish. So I really like these a lot. These are my favorites. I got two pair of these. That's why I'm wearing them. And then I'm also holding one in front of my camera. <laughs> this next style is called Yonce. Um, and I really like these. They're fairly dramatic. But I kind of wanted a more dramatic pair. So these are super pretty. They almost look, they give you the effect that you have two sets of lashes stacked on top of each other. So I really like these a lot. I ended up picking up one of those um, Maybelline matte lipsticks. They come in a tube like this, the purple colors. They're the ones everyone's talking about. And I got the one in Nude Embrace. This is more of like the brownish nude one. And I really like this. I was just curious about the formula, so I didn't pick up any more. And honestly, I don't think I will just because I got a ton of lipsticks, which I'll talk about. They're the NARS Audacious lipsticks. I'm going to show those next. Um, and I just love that formula so much right now. I knew I just wasn't going to really get use out of these. But they are very nice, and I like this color. Um, I'm really into this color, the more brownie nudes. Yet it's still pale. Um, so yeah, I'm into this one. This is Nude Embrace. Okay, last... But certainly, not least, I have some of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. I ended up purchasing one in store. I got Raquel. That's the more, the palest nude of the nudes. And I fell so in love with the formula and the color that I had to get more. <laughs> I had to get more. Um, so next I picked up Live, which is like a deeper purple color totally perfect for fall. I love it. It reminds me a lot of um, MAC Cyber. Um, it's not as dark, but I use it with Night Moth Lip Liner underneath, um, which is a very, very dark purple anyways. So the effect is the same, but I love the formula of these so much better. And after Raquel, I bought, let's see, Barbara. And this is one of the ones that I believe was a Barney's exclusive, but now I'm not entirely sure because I thought I saw it in Sephora. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought this was a Barney's ex exclusive. And this one's just a little bit deeper than Raquel. It's a little bit more brown and tan. And I also got Juliet. And this is sort of like a pale coral. This color is stunning like so stunning and I'm not going into them too much I think I'm just gonna do a separate video on them otherwise this is just gonna take way too long but I do have every single one of the shades that are considered to be nude or neutral so I'm definitely gonna do sort of like a lip swatch video so you can see them all compared side by side I highly recommend them but they are very spendy so I don't think that you need to go rush out and buy every single color it's just not necessary. Some of them are so similar, um, but I do like that they gave you so many nude options. So yeah, definitely look out for that video. Um, I'm not in a super huge hurry to do it, so I'll probably have it out though within the next few weeks. Right now, a couple of my favorites is Raquel. It's like the palest nude. Vanessa, which I'm wearing today, which is like a more deeper pinky nude and Juliet, which is that cor coral color. Ooh, Liv, the deep purple too. Okay, I can't pick a favorite. Just watch the video. Ooh, that's not last. Um, I got a few Sigma brushes, and I'm just gonna mention these quickly because when I did go into the store, I don't know how new they are really, like in life, but they're a newer style that I know of. Um, the first one is an E45. It's a small tapered blending brush. Um, it just looks like this. This one's awesome for diffusing a color in your outer corner for it's like precise yet it still blends um, and it's still firm enough that the brush doesn't flop around so I really love this one the next one is a diffused crease brush this is the E38 very very similar to the E40 actually I'm gonna grab it and show them side by side so this is the E40 and this is the E38 as you can see it's just a little bit smaller shorter bristles not bristles is that the word? And it's just a bit more precise. So I really like this one and I honestly like it 
better than I like the E40 now. This is sort of my new favorite crease brush. So I love that one. And the next one is a firm blender. This is the E44. And it looks like this. Very similar in shape to the first one that I showed. What are the numbers again? The E45. Um, different hairs though. They're more smooth. I forget the kind of hair that they are. Are these goat hair? No, those are the white ones. I don't know. Anyways, it's softer, yet it's firm, and it has that sort of angled tip, so it's very good for getting color precisely into your crease. And it does a really good job of applying it smoothly, like your first try. So I'm really happy with these brushes. That's why I kind of wanted to talk about them quickly in this video. And as always, um, I do have discount codes for Sigma down below for you guys if you are into purchasing some for yourself. <gasps> All right guys, so that is it. That was a very long haul. I've been waiting to do that for a while now. I just keep like looking at that bag and it was just too daunting to me, but I really wanted to like unbox some of these things. It's getting ridiculous. So thank you <laughs> for watching and sticking with it. Um, it was a really long video and I apologize. Be on the lookout for more Halloween tutorials. I have some more planned. If you have any requests, of course, leave them down below. If there's like an overwhelming amount of a certain idea that you guys want me to do, I'll definitely do it. I just know I don't like anything gory. Blood is fine. I just don't like gory stuff um and I don't really want to do a zombie all right guys I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you next time bye hey guys so I'm super late on this one but I was thinking about it and I was like I cannot wait until October to share some of these favorites with you otherwise my October favorites video will be just way too long so I was like screw it you guys love me you'll still watch it right Okay, so let's just jump right in. I have quite a few beauty favorites and um, some book favorites and a tea and stuff like that that I'll share with you. And actually, I'll just go ahead and do that one first. So my first favorite.